I made some spring rolls and some lettuce wraps. They are peanut Thai inspired wraps. Come check out my channel, Let's Cook with Michelle. Come on, let's check it out and make it together. Sit down, get comfortable. I'm making two pounds of this on purpose so that I can freeze half of it for later so that I can have um, easy lunches during the week with this cooked up turkey. All right, so I've got my garlic in here, browned up a bit. I'm going to put my turkey in. You could do a different protein with these if you'd like, but um, I'm going to tag the creator that I saw that uh, inspired me to make these. I thought that looked so good. I changed it a little bit from what she did, but I'm doing most of how she made these. It looked really good, nice and fresh, easy thing to have ready in the fridge for uh, lunches or dinners during the week. I've done spring rolls before on my channel um, where I made it with shrimp instead of the ground turkey, but this is a different spin. It's gonna have sauce in the um, ground turkey. It's a pad, it's a Thai peanut inspired spring roll, which I love all of those things. Fresh ingredients to go with the turkey, just have them chopped and ready to go in the fridge to work on throughout the week. And I'm going to wrap mine two different ways. In her video, she did uh, wrapping in the spring rolls, and in my video, I'm going to do that, but also in a lettuce, a romaine lettuce leaf, like you see at P.F. Chang's where they do those chicken, um, kind of like chicken tacos, I don't remember what they're called, like the chicken wraps, where it's like ground chicken or something, and they put it in the lettuce leaves, so that's the inspiration for today. Actually, while that turkey is cooking, I'm gonna start making my peanut sauce. And I've actually made this peanut sauce before for my other spring rolls. If you don't like peanut butter, you're probably not gonna like this peanut sauce. Um, but I absolutely love peanut butter. And this just goes with the whole Thai peanut roll scenario. And I don't measure, I'm sure you've noticed that on my channel, I don't measure. I just put in the ingredients and then I taste as I go and see if I need to change it at all. All right, so I've got peanut butter in here and low sodium soy sauce. Put a little bit of this sriracha in, give it just a little bit of a kick. Not gonna go crazy. And then I add water. So I'm just gonna pour in a little bit at a time until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. I'm gonna stir this turkey quick. One mm -hmm. thing with ground turkey is it does generate a lot of liquid and juice, so I will drain this a little bit before I add everything else in for sauces. All right, so now we're going to mix our peanut sauce. You could add crunched peanuts inside the sauce if you'd like. I'm putting the crunched peanuts inside my uh, ground turkey mix, so I'm not putting it in the sauce either. Could use grunch, uh, crunchy peanut butter. I always like creamy peanut butter. And obviously use your peanut butter of choice. You can add a little bit more heat in here. Add some uh, chili oil. Anything you would like to kind of change the profile and flavor to what you're looking for. All right, this looks like a really whippy peanut butter, but I'm gonna make this a little bit thinner. You can see the consistency is like this. I want it to be just a little thinner. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Make sure 
you splatter it on yourself, which I'm doing very well. All right. Now we're getting more in the consistency that we're looking for. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of this poison. I don't wanna add a lot because I wanna save this for my mix. Woo! She was loaded. All right, I'm gonna mix that up. A little bit of poison. This way you get a little sweet, a little salty. Give that a mix. And this is more the consistency we're looking for for our peanut sauce. I'm gonna give it a taste. And that's good. All right, so I'm gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and drain this juice. Okay, I drained out most of the juice. I did leave in just a little bit, but I wanted a lot of that gone. I don't want this to be runny. I want it to have good flavor in the sauce that we're going to add in this. So just gonna chop this up a little bit. And then once this cooks a little bit more thoroughly, I will start adding the sauces. And the spring roll wrappers that I'm using, like the previous ones that I used, are these Blue Dragon spring rolls. I get them at Walmart. I tried to find them at Hy-Vee today. They didn't have them at Hy-Vee, so I know for sure Walmart has them. Um, they're where you find all the other Asian um, kinds of things in the grocery store. And you have to be careful because they are very thin, like kind of rice paper, and so you don't want to break them. Um, and then you dip them in water to soften them, and then you roll them into your spring rolls, but you want to be careful not to break them, because if they're broken, it's not gonna make your nice roll like, like you want. I'm gonna start adding in the different things to make our sauce. So soy sauce, again, this is my low sodium soy sauce. And I'm gonna keep all these here to the side, so if I wanna add a little bit more of any of them, I can. This is my rice vinegar. Sriracha. Go as light or heavy on this as you want, but I want it to have a little bit of a kick to it. Ginger, <coughs> ginger paste. Poison sauce. <coughs> Lesson learned from last time it made a mess of me. I have this Thai peanut dip. So I put a little bit of this peanut sauce in here. And this has a little kick to it too. And then I have some peanuts that I chopped in my food processor. Again, optional. All right, I'm gonna taste this. Turn this down now. But I want to see if I want to change anything about the sauce. It's hot. I'm gonna add just a little bit more peanut sauce to that and a little more soy sauce. But I like that a lot. don't need any more of the sriracha because that will add more spice to it. You could add crushed red peppers. Um, I do have that chili crisp, um, the chili oil. Um, you could add some of that, but I'm going to put some of that on my spring rolls um, when I take bites of it along with the peanut sauce. Okay, this is done. We'll go ahead and turn this off and then we'll get some rolled up. Okay, so I've got my veggies that I chopped up a little bit ago, and I put them in my fridge in a nice container that will keep them fresh uh, for this week to assemble the wraps as I want to go. Um, I did put paper towels underneath these. You know, the cucumber definitely going to have some moisture. You don't want getting everything all soft and mushy. You want everything to stay, stay crispy and fresh. So, got those in there. My paper towel that goes on top. All right, so I've got my turkey there. Let me get some water in here. I've already got some water from my sauce, so we'll do that. All right, so I've got my spring roll wrappers. You want to carefully open the top, and they look like this. Just a 
thin little piece of like rice paper. So what I'm gonna do is dip it in the water. You don't need to have it sit in the water very long. You just wanna get it moistened on both sides. And then as you're working with it and rolling it, putting the veggies in, it's going to continue to get softer. So that's all the time you need in the water. I'm going to move this over here. You can hear my new puppy, Oakley. All right, so I've got some of this ground turkey mix. Put some of that in there. Okay, and now you just put whatever fresh veggies or items you want in. I want some red pepper. Cucumber, you could do avocado. Um, she used pickled uh, carrot sticks. You could definitely do that. But I'm just doing red pepper, cilantro, cucumber, and green onion. Then you grab an end, tuck it in. You can see it's a lot more thin and you can work with it now. And I'm definitely not an expert at rolling these, so don't come for me. I know that my technique is not wonderful. But they taste good. All right. There's that one. I'm going to roll one more of those. And then we'll do a lettuce one. I'm excited to try these. I just love all the fresh ingredients that go in these and the fact that you can just have it on hand to eat whenever you want, build it however you like your food. And it's just a nice, light, fresh meal to have throughout the week. All right, and now we just give it a roll. the second one and now let's do one in the lettuce leaf. This is a nice another option that you can do if you don't want to do the spring rolls. A little bit of the meat in here. Cucumber for crunch. Red pepper. Green onion and cilantro. All right, put that in there. I'm gonna put the lettuce one in the middle because these wrapper, uh, the wraps on these spring rolls, they stick together, and so they'll stick together and rip open. So you have to be careful. So I've got those. Let's get a little bit of the peanut sauce. New chili crisp oil that I'm trying today. I'm sure this was a Walmart. I'm not sure if it was in the store or if it came delivered from there, but it's, kind of, it's just like a chili oil. I smelled it, it's got a little bit of a kick to it, so if you try it, just be careful. I don't think I need a lot of it. Put that in the side. peanut, Thai, chicken, spring rolls, and lettuce wraps. Let's try them both ways.
I love all these fresh, crispy. Look at that. Just so fresh. Yum. Mmm. I absolutely love that. It's so good. The peanut, the cilantro, the crisp from all the vegetables is in there. Little crunches of the peanuts that I dumped in. Mmm. That's amazing. I love that. Let's try one of the spring rolls. I'm gonna try it with some of this chili oil. I'm curious. All right, I'm not doing a lot because I'm scared. I don't know how hot it is, so let's try this one. Mmm. That chili crunch is good. I'm getting a little heat now. Not much heat though. I can't do a lot of spice. And that was fine. It's like the, the spice is creeping up just a little bit, but definitely bearable if you don't like a lot of spice. I like that. It adds a lot of flavor. With that, that's really good. I absolutely love that. And if you like cilantro, it's amazing in this. Cilantro, some people hate it. Some people love it. There's no in between, but I love it. Mm. Check this one out if you like peanut and Thai and spring roll things. This is wonderful. I absolutely love it. Thanks for joining me today. I appreciate it. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok at Let's Cook with Michelle. All my full videos are always on YouTube. Have a good day.